okay today we'll be starting our new playlist on machine learning so welcome everybody and i'm really excited to start this new playlist so let's see where where we end up okay so uh, in this video i'll be mainly discussing about the introduction part like uh, what machine learning is and and we will see today the whole machine learning world world in a bird's eye view okay so that we can get a fair idea about what we are going to discuss in near future okay so for that what i have done i have created a cool diagram using this ed draw mind master tool okay so i am using their free version and and uh, i i really like mind mapping tools because they they help us help me to um, create uh, different different ideas very very uh, easily okay so before before i jump into this diagram uh, let, let's talk about what machine learning is actually is and and why we need machine learning okay now machine learning we can think of it as a branch of artificial intelligence okay which deals with how we can uh, we can train a particular computer okay to learn something new okay now it, it's a very simple statement but the actual application could be very very deep and um, and we will see like uh, in near future or as well like how we can different kinds of problem we can solve using this machine learning techniques now um, now machine learning is not a new concept basically the concept exists 60 years ago at least and it's basically started when uh, alan turing and uh, formalized the turing test right and we all know about it right so uh, and we say like a computer can beat a human being when it when it passed basically the turing test so currently in this world no computer has uh, still now passed the turing test so now think about it um, now now we are saying machine learning exists 60 years back right so then how come it suddenly becoming a buzzword right that that could be our question that is because of our digital revolution because nowadays if you see the availability of digital data and processing them we had we have supercomputers as well right so we have powerful computer system exists today's world and we have very vast amount of digital data exist in today's world okay so that basically boosts the whole machine learning stuff so that's why the more and more research is happening nowadays and machine learning is, is becoming more powerful right and if you think of today's world scenario machine learning is like everywhere if you think of it as a like email spamming right whether you want to determine whether a particular email is um, a spam email or it's it's a proper email or you think of it as a um, like computer vision where you want to uh, classify in an image whether it's a human image it's a fruit apple orange whatever it is right or you we can think of it as a driverless car where um, we do not need a driver to drive a car nowadays right we that that that, that kinds of projects people are working on so everywhere if you see there is a machine learning involved over there okay so i think in next next three to four years machine learning would be will be the uh, must have skill for everybody okay so it is very important we 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 learn and we understand this this beautiful world okay so now if you see the the whole machine learning world bird's eye view you can you can subdivide into six major parts okay it based on like how we uh, we solve different kinds of problem and how basically address we address those problems okay using different kinds of approaches okay now it is mainly like supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning neural networks and deep learning ensemble learning and semi-supervised learning okay so these are the main six categories uh, of uh, whole machine learning now supervised let, let, let's talk about uh, one by one of this diagram okay so um, 
supervised learning i'll just give you a very brief overview of different one so supervised learning basically let me let me just uh, yeah so supervised learning we can think of it as like we have a training data set right so the the computer learns from the training data set first it get trained on the data set then it's try to predict something okay so this is supervised learning because the the data uh, is labeled data right because when we are doing the training process we know what kind of uh, data it is and what kind of um, level it is based on that suppose like uh, if we are we want to know whether an email is spam or not based on certain words in the email we can create a training data set right if these words occurring most frequently then mark it as a spam otherwise not right so in supervised learning basically we we can judge the output of that model basically what what is model basically the model is nothing but the mathematical structure or we can think of it as a system the learning system which basically getting trained and and pre predict uh, and doing the prediction right so now we in, in future we'll see in future videos we'll see that those learning systems are nothing but a mathematical structure we'll see that one as well okay so so supervised learning we as we as we talk about so we can verify the model output right now compared to now in supervised learning based on like the task different different tasks we can perform it could be again further classified into regression problem and classification problem regression problem means suppose you want to predict a stock market stock price right so you're basically predicting something and classification means basically you are classifying something whether it's an email is spam or not whether this picture is an apple or not something like this right now there could be a lot of algorithms related to regression problems and classification problems we will discuss that and that those algorithms as well now compared to supervised learning unsupervised learning has unlabeled data that means it do not have any training set from the data itself the learning system tries to identify the relationship without any kind of help so in supervised learning the help was the training data set right in unsupervised learning the algorithm itself tries to find out the pattern in the in the data so that's why it is called unsupervised in nature so there are uh, based on its use cases also it can be divided into association rule learning and dimensionality reduction and there are a lot of algorithms related to that we'll see in the in future one by one and reinforcement learning this is this is one kind of um, very interesting learning system where let let me let me search something in google i think all of us know this game right pacman so if if you see if when a human when a human uh, guy plays this game right what is the game right you are basically trying to grab this one right and if you touch any of this one the the game will end over there right now think about it a learning system is trying to play pacman okay and now uh, the the idea in reinforcement learning is to we will uh, give or we will basically um will basically give rewards when it is doing correctly and we will penalty it when it will do wrongly okay so in that way that learning system tries to learn its own ways through some policies it it basically creates its own learning paths in its own strategy right to play this game so this is called reinforcement learning basically the learning system tries to learn on its own by using a strategy called either awarding strategy or penalty strategy so in that way it try to formalize its own plan so this is called reinforcement learning now there there are a lot of learning algorithms for that one as well we'll we'll try to discuss them as well now neural networks and deep learning so this is also another machine learning approach where we basically 
try to simulate the same behavior our neuron displays right suppose when we see something right that image has been captured by our eyes then it has been sent through several neurons to our brain for processing purpose right the similar kind of kinds of approaches has been followed in neural networks and deep learning as well we will we'll discuss very detail uh, in those in that area um, now ensemble learning is another machine learning approach where let's say you have a complex question right and you ask a lot of people that complex question now everybody can have their own perspective of solving that problem and if you see most of the times the overall like the um, aggregate output or aggregate output from all of the people is far better the aggregate answer from all the people if you just apply uh, all of the people thoughts and come up with an output is far better than a guy who is specialized in that area this guy's answer who is specialized in that area this is the basic fundamental nature of ensemble learning okay where we are applying more than one learning algorithm it could be it could be any any category to solve a particular problem okay we'll try to discuss um, that one as well so based on its um based on its different uh, uh, use cases we have like static stacking bagging and boosting algorithms so we will discuss them as well now semi supervised learning is another kind of machine learning approach where um, let's let me give you an example suppose, suppose um, i have included that one here as well so suppose um, uh, google photos right suppose you upload a photo in google photos so generally if you see first time it tries to identify the faces right so that is say unsupervised in nature because we are we have not given any training training over there to the model right it is try to learn or basically cluster on its own it try to identify different different face structures now it do not know who that face belongs to so that means the name of the person right that means it it can identify a face but it cannot identify the person from the face for that it may ask generally it ask us right what is the person name of this uh, picture right then if we give that details it can identify all the person faces in all the photos over there so that is in supervised in the, the second part of it right so if you see this is this kind of problems belongs to semi supervised learning where we are applying the concepts of supervised learning we are applying the concepts of unsupervised learning then come up with the final output okay so this is we will we will try to see some of the problems as well now okay so if you see i have i have given a lock for everywhere because currently we will assume we do not know anything then one by one uh we will try to see all of the different algorithms we'll try to deep dive into this core al cold algorithms okay we'll try to implement the we'll try to understand the basic maths behind it then we'll try to implement that algorithm using a lot of different softwares now mainly we'll be using this many softwares and it it, it uh, what i'll try to do is like different different algorithms i will try to use different different softwares which are is best suitable for that algorithm so that we'll try we will have a notion of all these different softwares okay so we'll try to use octave which is basically a scientific computing tool and i think this is the best alternative for matlab and it is free and open source we'll try to use r r for statistical learning we'll try to use google tensorflow and we will uh, mainly using we'll be discussing about neural networks and deep learning and we'll try to use our splunk machine learning toolkit for whatever algorithm we can implement in splunk we will try to see that one as well and also we'll try to use kikitlearn for different kinds of algorithm over here so these are the main softwares we will try to use now um, now what we'll do in next few videos like we'll go one by one algorithms and see and i'll i'll try to be more sequential compared to my splunk um, um, playlist okay and this particular playlist will be useful for non splunkers as well so because the splunk part non splunker can and it will be optional for the non splunkers but the rest of the parts will be useful for them okay so
so let's let's deep dive into this beautiful world of machine learning so from next video onwards we will we'll, we'll see how how we can best use of this of this different different algorithms see you in next video thank you